Dude, can you pass me my gloves? Sure, man. No, not these. Here my fishing go. gloves. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? What's wrong with these? Well, what's wrong with you? It's the middle of January. You're wearing that ridiculous what's sweater. What's wrong with my sweater? Offering me these gloves. My favorite well, gloves for well, winter fishing. What gloves are you talking about? You don't have one. Things are, it's not the middle of January yet. Things I have to go through for these videos. Three things I want from gloves for cold weather fishing. Warmth, function and comfort. And after three years of research I must admit that such gloves doesn't exist, at least to my knowledge. And let me explain why. First of all, gloves with all five fingers exposed. Who needs them? What are you going to do with these two fingers? This is a total mystery for me and I would argue the third finger also the middle one. Fleece is very warm but most of those gloves doesn't have the stretch material so they doesn't fit the hand very good and they're uncomfortable to say at least and their design is also very suspicious why do we have this wide opening here at the end who is putting their gloves over the jacket there's of course a lot of variations of those this closing thing what are you five or something how I'm supposed to fish with this thing these gloves are good until like five degrees Celsius if the temperature is getting lower you will freeze your fingers off and try changing your lure with your numb fingers that's a disaster and I'm not even talking about tying some knots at the river so these are going out then there is a neoprene gloves. Those fit your hand very well and it feels like second skin, but they are not that warm and they're lacking function because your fingers are exposed. And after wearing them for like 10 times, they are getting ripped apart and they are deteriorating very fast. And also your hand smells like shit after wearing them for a few hours. So those are out of the picture. Then there is more expensive gloves that are made with thought in them, with some function, with opening fingers, but none of those are warm. These gloves are good for autumn and early spring fishing when it's like five degrees or more outside. Then they're very good. Uh, but again, they're not perfect. They're not true to the size usually uh, because they have a lot of elements in them they are not very long lasting and they start to rip off on the seams and uh, they're good for warmer weather but not good for cold weather and they're not perfect either so after my research and talking to all the other people i know Pretty much everyone tells the same story, that there is no perfect glove for winter fishing and you need to sacrifice something. So this is my proposal to the manufacturers and I hope at least one of you are listening for this. This is what you need to do. Inside of a glove, fleece material or Primaloft. And don't tell me that Primaloft is very expensive and no one will buy the glove because it will get so much more expensive. This is socks that I use for winter fishing. They are like 80% of Primaloft material. They cost 14 or 15 euros in the store. So Primaloft is not that expensive. These are super warm. I cannot use them at home because my feet get too warm. Make it longer and make it go around your wrist tight. 
no one's putting their gloves over their jacket with this big opening that's a nonsense so you need uh, some soft and warm material inside may it be fleece primaloft or anything else there is and add some elastic uh, thing inside like elastan or other material like 20 percent of it so the glove will fit you like second skinned it doesn't have to be tight because it's, if it's too tight you're gonna get cold hands just to feel nice on your hands don't be too loose second thing you need to cover that warm material with some membrane may it be soft shell Gore-Tex Torre membrane whatever you're working with work it out cover the outside so it would be water resistant third thing make an opening for fingers two or three fingers that's debatable you can make a survey online at your facebook page and people will vote you will select what's more popular i would go with two fingers that's all i need while fishing one finger is holding my line when i'm casting another finger i need to open the clip when i'm changing my bait if you want to retie some knots you can take your gloves off for two minutes your hands won't freeze in two minutes uh, don't go super innovative about those openings just make a cut in the middle of a finger and make it go back so your finger would be exposed you can you can add some velcro stickers on the back of the finger so the open part would stay in place and it won't close uh, that's all you need basically it's not that hard to produce such gloves so there is a huge gap in the market and you can be the first one to cover it and that sounds like some profit now about the cost if you produce a perfect glove for cold weather fishing with all three parts covered warmth function and comfort i would pay a hundred euros for those gloves knowing that they will serve me at least three th seasons and i would be totally cool with that because no such thing exists yet and try fishing for four five six hours at the river especially when it's cold when salmon season is here and trying to change your lures every five or ten casts that's a disaster and i'm just getting angry while fishing if you need a test bunny for your production i could happily help you send me all the gloves you produce i'll give you my feedback on all of them with no cost no nothing i just make something and send them to me and send them to a bunch of other people and we will give you feedback and you'll see you'll sell, sell ton of those gloves and everyone will be happier and you'll make some money i can't see how this is not a win for everyone for now this is my solution what i use i take these gloves that are used for autumn fishing they are breathable covered with Gore-Tex they are not warm enough i put these gloves on and then I take glove from fleece material that is one size bigger than I usually use and I put that over the top. This is what's saving me for now. Can anyone please combine these two together? That's a solution. So guys, thanks for watching. This one was a little bit different. You can hear some anger in my voice because uh, yesterday I was at the river. The water level was super high. I had no bites. I didn't even found any true spot where the fish might be sitting. So that was a little bit frustrating for me. If you know some gloves that are very close to the description I gave, let me know in the comments below and i'll definitely try them on if i can get my hands on them and i'll see you at the next one peace